Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do a quick video. I'd actually done this on my phone, but the the sound was really bad. So I'm just going to kind of talk about this a little bit further. The fight hasn't happened yet, so y'all can come back and look at this if the fight doesn't go, as I said. But kind of wanted to do like a little video on how I think both Islam and Volkanovsky could win the fight. I know most people like to pick who they think is going to win, but I kind of want to focus on how both people can win. And the thing I had said on my video was uh, that I felt like Volkanovsky, the only way he could win, well, there were a couple of ways he could win, but I felt like there, he had a lot less opportunity to be victorious. You know, he could win by decision, maybe if he outpointed uh, Islam on the feet. And there's always a possibility of a knockout, even though he doesn't have a lot of uh, knockouts. You know, he doesn't have a lot of stopping power. He does stop guys TKO, but, you know, there's always a possibility of a knockout when you have these uh, four-ounce gloves on. But what I said on my original video was I felt like Islam has more ways to win. He can win by submission. He can win by being on top and winning a, a lopsided decision. He can win by knockout. You know, Volkanovski is going to be looking for the takedown, so he's going to have more opportunities to land a big, big shot. So... I feel like Islam has a lot of different ways to win. He could even win a decision by keeping the fight on the fence, you know, standing and just uh, fighting in the clinch. So he has a lot of different ways he can be victorious as to where I feel like Volkanovski only has like one or two. And the other thing that I think is going to be problematic for Volkanovski is that he's going to have to be circling a lot to avoid uh, being taken down. He's not going to be able to fight in and out at his range, like he usually does, because the threat of the takedown is so dynamic in this fight. And he's going to have to circle a lot, I think, to avoid that. And this is where he could get tired, because the octagon's really big. If you've ever trained in an octagon, or people who fought in an octagon, anyone's trained a UFC gym where they have the full-size octagons in there, it's really hard to circle for, you know, multiple rounds. Because it's like doing laps around a track, you know, a small track. So I think that would be problematic if he had to do that. So I kind of think at some point he's just going to get engaged by the wrestling. So I think in terms of Volkanovski, it's going to be, he has opportunities to win, but they're less. And I think his opportunities to win are a little problematic. So in that regard, I think Islam has a much higher likelihood of winning the fight because he has more ways to be victorious. And that's kind of what I was focusing on in my original video. So I'll put this out and uh, we'll see uh, what happens in the fight and, you know, how it kind of plays out. So I just kind of wanted to redo this since my phone, the sound isn't so good, I think.